I mainly shoot video and you can kind of tell by the gear that I get and the cameras that I own. I have the FX3 and then I also have the FX30 which are both cinema line cameras. And really it's just the layout and the function of it is more for video but they can still take stills and pretty good stills. While on occasion I still get hired out to do some photo work, I've realized that these cameras are good enough just to get those social media pictures that I'm usually hired out for. So nothing crazy, no printing. So for that, these cameras are good enough. I did own the A7C and the X100V a few months ago, but obviously I had to sell those in order to upgrade to these cameras because I mainly do video. However, recently I have been getting the itch to just go outside, go explore, take pictures, try new editing techniques, and just get back into photography since I don't do it that much. So I have been looking at some photo cameras like the Leica Q2 or the Hasselblad X2D or the older versions, but those prices are just insane. And since I'm not really getting any projects that are mainly just photo first projects, I really can't justify it. So I needed to find another way to scratch that itch of wanting to take pictures without buying a crazy expensive camera. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I found this 35 millimeter APS-C lens from Brighton Star. It was like 40 or $50. And for now, that just scratched that itch just enough for me to hold off on making a crazy purchase like the Leica Q2 or the Hasselblad camera. And there's a few other reasons why I picked this lens up. So let's go over those. So one of the big reasons I actually got this lens, it's because it's only manual focus. And for most, you probably want autofocus, but for me, I really want to practice my manual focus, especially because I am thinking of upgrading to cinema lenses for my video cameras, and those are typically just manual focus, so I really have to get that dialed in, and the more I can practice the manual focus, the better. Going off manual focus just makes you slow down a little bit and really think about and ask yourself questions about the shot that you're taking. You really start learning a little bit more about composition and then just the type of shots that you like. So another reason that I picked this lens up is because it was super cheap. 40 or $50 is not expensive at all for a camera lens. If you know about lenses, you know that they're a couple hundred or thousand dollars usually. So $50 for a lens is nothing. And that meant I had no expectations for the lens. I didn't expect it to be super sharp or super amazing. I could just go out there and shoot freely if it had some imperfections that would just be something that would make the photo a little bit more unique. I could learn to play with those imperfections. And again, just had no expectations, can go out there, have fun, shoot freely. If anything, it would just impress me. Another reason, it's a 35 millimeter lens and it's something that I typically don't shoot on. And also it's a prime lens, so it's just the 35 millimeters. And I typically have some kind of zoom lens on my camera so I can always change focal lengths. And with this, it really, again, made me slow down, think about what I could get with a 35 millimeter and if it is a good composition. So it really made me think a little bit more since it was just a fixed lens. The 35 millimeter reminds me of having my X100V as well. So I just liked having that one lens, not having to overthink everything and trying to try out different focal lengths. I can just compose my picture, take the shot, and live with the results. I typically don't shoot at the 35 millimeter focal length that much. I know a lot of people love 35, so it's nice to just learn a new focal length and see what its limitations are, what it's good in, and just get to learn it. So another reason I got this is because of how tiny it is. It's perfect for the FX30, the APS-C lens, and it just reminds me of kind of a compact X100V camera. Obviously, it's a little bit thicker than the X100V, but it's still a nice camera that I can just throw in a book bag or even put in a hoodie and just take it around. So if any of you are out there itching to get a new piece of gear or a new camera, but maybe you can't justify it yet, I would recommend maybe just going on Amazon, picking up a super cheap lens or a super cheap piece of gear and just see, going out there, seeing what you can create and just having fun with it. Maybe that 
will stop you from making that expensive purchase like it has for me. Um, but I've been enjoying just using these cheaper lenses and just, again, going out and creating and, and seeing what I can come up with with absolutely no expectations. And I did pick up one other cheaper lens, so I'll make a video on that. If you have any questions on this lens, leave them down below in the comments. Maybe give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I love how I just have bunny ears the whole video. Whatever. Peace.